David Willis. Good morning. We're going to have a great um, talk this morning with Steve Wozniak. Everybody knows, everybody loves Steve Wozniak. Of course, we know him as the co-founder of Apple. He was the principal, sole designer of the Apple One and Two. Did you know before that, he used to hack the telephone system just for fun? Did you also know he was the first, he, he founded the first company to market the universal remote control? That's a surprise. He also founded an Internet of Things company back in 2001, before anybody was talking about the Internet of Things. He's a beloved technology personality. Uh, he's always got amazing, fun, interesting, funny things to say. Today we're going to talk about a bit about his history, some of the things that he's doing now, his current life and times. He's working on a few things actually for uh, in terms in business technology. Of course, we will talk about the future of technology. But we all have Steve to thank for making technology approachable for real for normal people, for human centric design. So without any further ado, we're in for a real treat this morning. Please welcome to the stage, Steve Wozniak. Hi, Steve. Hi, this is the morning. morning. Thank you for coming out. It's pretty easy to want to come to a place like this. Um, that's fabulous. <laughs> they are tech. Everybody loves technology here. Everybody loves cars here as well. And I understand you're a... In the old days, we'd include things like, like DSLR cameras. Like DSLR the, cameras, yeah. These still exist. Look. But they become an important part of your life, you know, technology that you love. And what I, happened to cameras? What happened to cameras? Well, they're kind of um, in the enterprise. They're kind of used by professionals. But, you know, at home, they're all on your phone. Everywhere I go now, I used to go to places where people were taking pictures with little point-and-click cameras. Now it's all the phones. But that's great because I get to see all the phone models in the world. And from behind, I try to recognize them from the shape of the camera and where it's positioned. I try to recognize which phone model it is. Smartphone model. Because I love, I love to buy all the technology I can and play with it. Because you don't really learn something by reading, here are the specs, here, here is what people say about it. No, you hold it in your hand, you use it, you say, this works well or it works lousy. You don't know until you have it. Some of us are looking forward to having a smartwatch of some sort. Yet another device that we get to carry with us. What are your thoughts on smartwatches? Wearables. Well, wear, that's one category of wearables. And smartwatches, a little holdout. I have continually worn a watch. And I wear the watch to see the time of day. Because time of day is so important to me. And I don't want to pull my iPhone out of my pocket. And I'm not one of those people that carries it around everywhere I go looking at my iPhone. So I'm not a, I'm a subject for smartwatches. I've tried a few smartwatches, and they disappointed me. Some of them you couldn't hear unless you held it up to your ear, and some of them um, didn't really, um, you could ask it a question, but most of the answers from Siri would come back on your phone in your pocket. So I, I have negative experiences. The Apple Watch I haven't yet ordered. I don't have it yet. I mean, I would love to get down to the mall here and buy it. I've been busy traveling during the, the point in time when it was released. And then Apple had a deal where you could get it half off. And believe it or not, I'm a small, I'm an employee, and I can get it half off, but I have to go through an internal network that I don't know how to operate right now. <laughs> so I will get my watch. I mean, maybe even today, but I want it, I want to play with it and try it and give it a break. There are a lot of things that I do with my iPhone in my life that a watch would be much more convenient for me. I fly a lot, so checking into airports, you use your, your phone, you use your phone now as your boarding pass, and it's very convenient. <clears throat> and I want to do it with my wrist. I want to see if that's more convenient. I use Apple Pay in the countries where Apple Pay works. Hold up the phone with your finger on it, and, and it beeps, it pays. You don't have to open it up, unlock the phone, run an app, and then type in a PIN number like you do with Google Wallet. 
So I, I really want to see if it works for the Apple Watch works for that, and see if it brings other things into my life. At least I'll be able to see the time. But, <laughs> you know, the pricing, the pricing bothers me, you know, because um, I look at, there's 20 Apple Watches, the middle range brand. It has the stainless steel case and the sapphire, the sapphire um, lens cover. And there are 20 of them from $500 up to $1,100. And the only difference is the band. Which band do you want? Apple is selling bands. And it's not exactly the, the company we started selling technology. And it's not the company that moved things forward. But maybe Apple's kind of, you know,